Hi, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use uh, Visual Studio Code on your Mac OS for building your C++ applications as well as debugging them. For building, we use a CMake tool. The very first thing you have to do is install the command line tools. You can do this by running Xcode select minus minus install on the terminal. Uh, it will ask you uh, several uh, options to select and after that it will install the command line tools. It uh, in total installs uh, 61 different commands and utilities for you. Uh, notice that it does not install CMake for you. For installing CMake, the very first thing is you have to install uh, Homebrew. For installing Homebrew, you have to uh, run this command on the command line. Or the terminal and this will install homebrew i already have homebrew installed so i'm not installing it again uh, you have to install cmake for that you have to do brew install cmake and this will install cmake for you i already have cmake installed so i don't need to reinstall it now that you have the command line tools installed and cmake installed let's uh, see how we can build the C++ application using CMake. I have test.cpp file. All it does is it uh, takes two variables A and B, sums them up and stores it into the variable result. And then it prints out the result for us. I have the CMake file, which is responsible for building test.cpp and it creates the executable test. Um, notice that I have the CMake build type set as debug. This is a must for building your executable with uh, debug symbols in it. Let's uh, build this application. Uh, open one terminal, uh, make the directory build, change to build, um, do CMake space dot dot, this is gonna create all the make files for us. And next we run make, which is going to build the executable. To run the executable, we have to do dot slash test. And we can see as expected, we are summing up 10 and 20. So we get the result 30 printed out. Let's see how we can debug uh, this application. For that, the first thing you have to do is you have to install the C++ extension for opening this window you have to do command shift x and uh, then you have to search for c++ and install c++ extension i already have this installed uh, for you the option would be install and then you can click and it will install the c++ extension coming back to our project um, to debug let's you need to click on the run debug button which is on the left side over here and once you click it uh, it will ask you to set up the configuration for run and debug click here and select gdb lldb and then select the default configuration in the program you have to enter the program name uh, the program name for us is gonna be workspace folder slash build slash test test is the executable here now let's go back to our C++ application code. Uh, we can set up a debug by clicking here and uh, then you need to click on the run button, which is over here, start debugging. Let's go to the debug console. So as you can see, the debugger has launched and um, with this, we also get the debug console. We can check for different variables like A. Um, you also have the window which opens on the left side, which has the options to look for the variables. You can create your own watch, the expressions to watch. You also have the call stack. You have the options to continue. Um, then you also have the options to step over, step into, step out, restart and stop. Let's step into. So with this, we have gone to the function sum. You can see the inputs A equal to 10, B equal to 20. Uh, step into, 
uh, the result has been with this the result has been calculated and finally the result is being printed out and then the execution is complete so i have shown you how you can use visual studio code uh, to build your applications uh, written in c++ uh, using uh, the build tool cmake and then how you can debug it using the C++ C++ extension library. Uh, in case you run into any issues, uh, feel free to drop me a comment and I will reach back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video.